All right, Shalom Akim. All praise to Yahweh Bashmi Awashai, Bahasham, Kodash Rakai, the double honor to the apostles of the Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, I'm just doing a, a quick video to uh, edify and exhort Akim um, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Awashai, through the spirit of apostles, Apostle Har, uh, Apostle Kabar, on down. Um, this, uh, I know brothers have noticed. That uh, a lot of the Akim and a lot of the brothers have been uh, doing the intros and the salutations to their videos a lot, a lot different lately. Over the past week or two, um, we've been giving all praises to Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, but we've also been coming in the name of uh, the Holy Spirit, which a lot of brothers, uh, after they say uh, Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai, uh, we say by Shum Kodash Raka. Um, this is something that was brought out by Apostle Tahar. Um, so it's not something that um, I'm bringing out out of my own will, my own heart. Um, Apostle Gabar has attested to it. And, you know, um, a lot of the, you know a lot of the different elders and leaders of other camps have been uh, making this a. Um, um, a staple in their camp as well, as far as brothers doing the videos, you know. So it's just a uh, a shift in the spirit, but of course it's scriptural. It's in the scriptures. Um, it's something that Yahweh Shai told us to do, and um, it's just you know it's just something that brothers, uh, of course, uh, should get in the habit of saying because it's the will of the Lord. So I'm uh, I'm gonna pray this real quick. Uh, from Apostle Bar's video, uh, because he mentioned it, and um, the spirit was on me to uh, bring this out for the brothers that haven't heard it or haven't really put it into practice. All right, so just one second. Shalom, welcome to another edition of Great Millstone Mailbag. Here to feed the elect. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, Vahasham Raka Kwadash, or Kwadash Raka, you know, in the name of the Holy Spirit as well. And I got I got to get in the habit of saying that because what Apostle Elder Tar said is absolutely true. Yahweh Shai said it. He said that to. Bless our brothers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so that would be Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kodash Raka. Okay, Holy Spirit. Anyway, I was watching this video. All right, so you heard it. Um, you know, it's uh, something that um, Yahweh Shai himself said for brothers to do. Bless. Bless the brothers in the name of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai and in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures, and I'm a, um, I'm going to uh, just edify and build upon that point. All right. And I believe Apostle Har, um, you know, the Spirit was telling him for brothers to start doing that. You know. So. Um, I'm going to go to Matthew 28 chapter here. All right. And uh, I started at verse, verse 18. All right. It says in, uh, in fact, let's, let's get it here. All right, here we go. Matthew 28 and 18. It says, And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Verse 19, go ye therefore and teach all nations, which is the, all the Israelites and the Israelite foreigners that were scattered. All right. It says, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All right. So this is why you hear, you know, brothers um, uh, adding this to the introduction to the videos when they give all praises to the Lord. All right. The Heavenly Father and the Son. All right. Uh, verse 20 says, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. 
Right? So is that not a commandment? Is that not something that Yahweh Shah told us to do? All right? So we should as also teach brothers to 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 follow what he said, okay? And I believe that's why the spirit jumped on the apostle hard to do that, because Yahweh Shah gave that command, all right? It says, And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. To what? So even in these uh, times at the end of Esau's world, we're to continue that tradition, you know, uh, because the Holy Spirit is important. The Holy Spirit is a, a important part of this uh, of this truth because that is what comforts us through the word. All right. Um, as far as getting this understanding and this wisdom. So I'm going to go to the next couple of scriptures. Uh Let's see what I had. Um, all right. Well, let's see. Cause I had a couple of scriptures dealing with the Holy Spirit. Uh, let's see. One second. Which, as you can see, it speaks about the Holy Spirit. A lot, you know, not blaspheming against the Holy Spirit, but just as far as, all right, here we go. This is uh, John chapter 14, start at 23. It says, Yahweh shot answered and said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words and my father will love him and he will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. So this is coming down from the Heavenly Father, you know, to keep the words that he said. It says, These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the Comforter, which is not uh, uh, the self-proclaimed Comforter of uh, the Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ that got raided a, a couple years back because the Holy Spirit's not dealing with him, Okay. But the point is, the Most High said he was going to send us. Y'all should have said the Comforter was, was going to come uh, uh, to his disciples, okay? So it says, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. All right? So the Holy Spirit is a spirit that through the spirit and power of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, all right? Has a has a has a helped us out, you know. You know, giving us this word. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to be too much longer. Um, it's another scripture I had. You know, you know, just to uh to show you. Uh, how things uh, how things work in the spirit. Uh, right. So this First John five and seven it says, "For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth." The spirit and the water and the blood, and these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of, of men, the witness of the Most High is greater, for this is the witness of the Most High, which he had testified of his Son. He that believeth on the Son of the Most High had witness in himself. Uh, he that believeth not the Most High hath made him a liar, because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave of his Son. And this is the record that the Most High hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Right? But the main point was that how the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Word, which is our shy is one. So this is how we give reverence, you know. 
But uh, I just wanted to bring that out. That's something that, like I said, brothers have heard other brothers say in the spirit. You know, when they open their videos. Um, and uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, he commanded us to teach brothers in the Holy Spirit. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise to you. How about Shemel was shy by Shem Kordash Raka? Double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS. Shalom to your leg. Hope you were edified. Shalom.